December 8th, I indicated that I hope to get 100 million shots in people's arms in my first 100 days. We met that goal last week by day 58, 42 days ahead of schedule. Now today I'm setting a second goal, <clears throat> and that is we will, by my 100th day in office, have administered 200 million shots in people's arms. Those who are coming across the border who are unaccompanied children were moving rapidly to try to put in place what was dismantled, as I said. For example, of all the children who are coming across the border, over 70 percent are either 16 or 17 years old. We're not talking about people ripping babies from mother's arms or little three-year-olds standing on the border. Less than, I think, it's one and a half percent fall in the category of the very young. The idea that I'm going to say, which I would never do, that if an unaccompanied child ends up at the border, we're just going to let them starve to death and stay on the other side. No previous administration did that either, except Trump. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Deciding that you're going to end voting at 5 o'clock when working people are just getting off work, deciding that there will be no absentee ballots under the most rigid circumstances, it's all designed, and I'm going to spend my time doing three things. One, trying to figure out how to pass the legislation passed by the House, number one. Number two, educating the American public. The Republican voters I know find this despicable. Republican voters, the folks out in the — outside this White House. I'm not talking about the, le the elected officials. I'm talking about voters. Voters. Have you decided whether you are going to run for re-election in 2024? You haven't set up a re-election campaign yet, as your predecessor had by this time. <laughs> My predecessor need to, needed to. <laughs> My predecessor. Oh, God, I miss him. Um, no, the answer is yes. My plan is to run for re-election. That's my expectation. No American president ever backed down from speaking out of what's happening in the Uyghurs, what's happening in Hong Kong, what's happening in-country. In, in, in That's who we are. The moment a president walks away from that, as the last one did, is the moment we begin to lose our legitimacy around the world. It's who we are. So, I see stiff competition with China. China has an overall goal, and I don't criticize them for the goal, but they have an overall goal to become the leading country in the world, the wealthiest country in the world, and the most powerful country in the world. That's not going to happen on my watch. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.